today's video we are at the beautiful city of Bustleton and we're going to show you how we find these incredible camps not only that we're going to show you the Stop. fun stuff like where we get our water where we put our rubbish and how we dump our so we just set up and it's about lunchtime and I thought I'd make some vegetable soup or chicken and vegetable soup with just the leftovers and get some things organized before we get to see all of Bustleton. Drove through town and it was quite busy today, wasn't it? It's the weekend. Yeah, I need a good serve of veggies. Okay, so this is how we normally find our caravan spots. So we're going to Bustleton here there it is there there's usually a heap on there which is like day areas someone's got a fancy letterbox so they put it on there so we filter it down usually we try and go for campgrounds now obviously if you've got a dog with you we put that there um, in this case I'm, I'm pretty sure you could actually have dogs at this campground when we stayed but it does say no dogs now apply and then it brings us down to these ones here and we had a love heart on here because we'd already checked it out so you can see here how much it costs the reviews now the pricing I think has changed because I think it was only $20 a night for all four of us and you can see the reviews and you can see the photos and then if you want to put the caravan parks on there you just go like that now there is a caravan park here called Mandalay Holiday Resort which someone had recommended to us I don't think we could get in at the time um, but we did stay at this one also after this day and that was a good little spot too there's actually really nice walking tracks down from that way that go all the way along the beach all the way up to the playground which you'll see in a moment We've actually been here quite a few times before but in every day it had been really overcast and not the best day to go out on the jetty so we've waited for the right weather and drove back into Bustleton. Sometimes you want to do that because when it gets further south it just gets cold so the kids are so happy to be back here because they have voted this play park their most favourite and best playground in the whole of Australia. It's got like this big pirate ship on it and the kids just have a wonderful time. And while they're having a wonderful time, we're normally sitting over at the shelter, which is this awesome brewery. It's got these good pizzas and you can kind of see them from sitting out the front and you get that amazing view of the jetty. It's a cool playground, isn't it? This is our favourite playground so far. There's been quite a few cold days and it's really hard to travel when it's cold because it's hard to motivate yourself to do anything. We have got the most perfect day. So we're here with our friends, uh, Soph and Shannon and their kiddos and it's going to be great. What'd you get there, Till? Free stickers. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. How much is it? $99. I was about to say it. So sit back and relax. Have your camera ready. You just never know what you might see here on the jetty or in the bay. Beautiful day, folks. Look at that. when they first started and it took them about a hundred years to get it right out to here and they just kept building on it and now it's 1.87 meters which makes it the longest jetty in the whole of Australia and actually the longest jetty in the southern hemisphere that is cool it is very cool so this building was actually a barge and they built it in Fremantle, brought it out here and filled it with water so it sank. Then they pumped it all out and this is what it is now. Roughly three days to get down here to Bustleton. They put it in place where it is now at an exactly midnight and the water was nice and calm. Filled with water and sunk it. This guy having a feed. Which one? 
Oh wow, this is so good. Are you so glad that we did it guys? Yeah, absolutely. You can't not come with bus home and do the jetty. Yeah. You can see down below are actually what they call an artificial reef because it's some of the old pylons and timber that has just been discarded. A lot of the coral and animals are growing on there plus they're feeding so it's created this beautiful underwater area that we can view. It's just, yeah, it's, it's pretty amazing. Whilst the jetty train is a bit of a novelty and it's also included in the price, there's nothing like walking on the pier, particularly the longest one in the Southern Hemisphere. Put music over this. <laughs> Bustleton Fire Station was built in 1936 and it was actively used as a fire station right up until 1990. And now they've transformed it into this cute little bar. It is a really cool place to visit and make sure you check out the Facebook page because they also have happy hour. They're smaller, smaller cans, so I got two but they put them in there. What's this? Is that alright? Coke. It's because of the straw. Water. Statues all over this little artsy sort of area. It's actually called the Cultural Precinct and we're just about to go to the old courthouse. We have been here before but we didn't bring the camera so we're going back to have another look. This is the old courthouse and that around there is the old jail and police station. This is now closed because they've got an art installation going in, so sadly we've missed it. Cells were actually established in 1861. Really? Yeah. So they're all just timber, eh? Don't they hang them up here? Ready, Mum? Mum, be us. Bye-bye. It's fairly dark. There's a bit of light coming in through the window at the top. Oh, thank you. There's a little bit of light. Turn that off again. Wow. Just a little bit of light coming in. Hello. Have fun. Has no escape. Well, there is escape because this dude who was arrested for robbery made his escape by picking out the mortar and stones from the cell wall. Soft nature of the stone. But this is timber. So, so in they some of the others. It to timber, of course. Yeah. There's three or four. Three or four of these cells. Let's go on this one. On this one. <laughs> it's all made of jarrah stumps. It's absolutely incredible. And this is a really sad cell because where they kept indigenous Australians and separated them. Such a sad time. The roof. They probably check. Horrible. Horrible, I mean. See? Like Moon Time Joe. Trying to do the floor like an animal. This is the exercise. This yard. is the exercise yard. Look at it. At the other place, there was numbers on the wall. And like, you start at 7 and go to 16. Yes, not at this one though. Yeah. And that's another toilet. Drunkenness, five days hard labour. Wow, that's pretty tough. Okay, let's go. Lovely bunch of potatoes, lemons and oranges and 
The camp that we're staying at doesn't have any water hookup and we forgot to fill up before we got there. So I was in need of a shower and these are the toilets that I found. Open up your Wikicamps app and hide all the site types like the campgrounds, day use areas, all that sort of thing, but leave water facilities. Water facilities actually include any taps, anywhere that you can hook up water, public toilets, that kind of thing. So you do have to go through them individually and work out which one is actually a shower. In Bustleton, there's two places to have a shower. Suggest so you look for hot. Follow my TikTok, you may have already seen the video that I did when I had to have a shower in here because we'd run out of water at the van and I got all undressed. And they're lovely showers and they're free and they're public. But they're cold. One of the fun things about van life is that you've got to take care of all your own stuff. There's no like garbage collection. So you've got to find where you can put it. You've got to try and find somewhere for it. We also have to fill up water today. And we don't even know where we're camping tonight. So we probably should find somewhere to camp. What about the rubbish? Oh, yeah. Rubbish back in our nice clean van. We've just come down this street and it's a bloody car park. And he's had to do like a three tur point turn to get out. Oh my God, I can't believe you got out of that. Well done. Oh my God, this one is so That was small. like crazy. Yeah. This is the road and it's like a little car park that I don't know you, no way we're getting around. We've come back into Busso hoping that we'd be able to get the drone up. And again, it's bloody windy. You can see white caps out there on the on the water, so there's no chance we're living. Please think of that this might be our only spot to try. We're gonna get in here and get out of there. I reckon. Wow. Oh, we're, gonna, we're sort of going this way anyway. There is no way the drone's going up. It's like really windy. <laughs> it wasn't supposed to be this windy. Well, um, where we weren't was it? Come around the other side. It's yeah, I take day. it that's what's happened. Oh, just realised we've left the waves line up. Which I, I just said, we see heaps of people do that though. How often do you do that? Every time we hook her up. Really? Yeah, you just feel if anything's loose or hot. Yeah. <coughs> what are you coming for? I'm thirsty. Oh no, we've got no water. We've actually got no water at all. Like none. Water. It's empty. Mark's not feeling too much like driving. We're thinking about staying here or maybe going to, to find a free camp on the way to Pemberton. And there's only one um, caravan park in Pemberton. It's destination. Don't know. Where are we sleeping tonight? Don't know. <laughs> oh my gosh. So we found a dump point and this one actually has a code on it so you need to go onto Wikicamps and find the code. We've never seen one like that before but it's a bloody great idea. Just because you might have people that want to vandalise. I mean, it seems crazy but people do do that. Put what? the rubbish in there. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Four bins in there for us to use. Oh my gosh, people, that's so nice. Probably the better. In Australia? I reckon. Yeah, because of the lock. They've got a lock. So one's for water, which we can fill up now. The other one's for, what do you call that thing again? Septic. Septic. Septic, no. I can't even think of it. Dump point. Dump point. Six. You gonna help dad? Is it from an air pocket? This is the fun part, but I'm not gonna do any more than what you've just shown me. And then you just like, close it down. 